roots, grow underground and bring water and nutrients to the rest of the plant. Brace roots, roots that form above ground, one the sixth nude. The first five nudes are below ground where other roots are formed. Grow from the nude and then down to the soil and keep the plant standing upright. Stock, the main body or stem of the corn plant. Stalks have to be studied to support the weight of the corn ears and provide pathways for the nutrients to move up and down the plant. Nude, a place on the stem where growth occurs. Leaves, roots, ears, and tassels form from nudes. Leaf, a full-grown corn plant has 16 to 19 leaves, although 5 leaves fall off by the time the plant tassels. The leaf provides the surface area where light is intercepted and photosynthesis takes place. Ear, the structure that contains the kernels that are forming after fertilization, the female part of the corn plant. Tassel, the male part of the corn plant that contains the pollen. The tassel is on top of the corn plant. The roots anchor the rice plants in the soil and absorb water and nutrients. Like other gramineae, the root system of rice is relatively shallow, especially under flooded conditions. The stem's main function is to transport water and nutrients and to bring air to the roots. Panicle The panicle is born on the uppermost internode of the comb. The panicle base is the nearly solid node between the uppermost internode of the comb and the axis of the panicle. The region about the panicle base is known as the neck. If the leaves grow alternately on the stem, with one leaf per node. The last leaf wrapping the panicle is called the panicle leaf or flag leaf. The leaves are growth engine of the plant as they capture solar radiation and produce carbohydrates.